All right, time out for another collection video. Now I'm gonna do my PlayStation One game collection. On my Twister 1999 channel, before I closed it, I did uh, uh, my uh, PlayStation game collection. Well, now I like to take you the time to show them again. It's not real like a slim off version, but this is what a PlayStation One looks like. Let's see where it is. I got this at Play and Trade, which is now press start back in 2008, December 2008. I'll show you. It's got a power button, a reset button, and there's the tray button. Switch cut clip may have broke many years ago, but still works. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Alright, now let's get to the games. First one I have is Ridge Racing. Got this back in 2009. It's a pretty good game to play. Alright, I'll show you the disc. There it is. Yeah, Rudge Racing is a pretty good game to play. I can play this every day. It's non-stop racing game. One second so I can get this. Okay. Now the next game, the game is in the PS2, so... The Antoine Museum 1, Volume 1, but I have Volume 3. I don't have Volume 2 yet. This is from 2000, There's the disc. It's a pretty good game to play. Alright. Next up, Arcade's Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection, Volume 1. Yep, pretty good game. Asteroids on there too. There's the I have Atari Anniversary Edition Remix. I'll show that to you later. Okay. Here I have Tetris Plus. We're getting the PlayStation One. I know the breeze has the game on the SNES, but. I know, but I'll fly an SNES one these days so I can show you. Alright. Here's a racing, another racing game, Kart World Series. I play this game millions of times, it's pretty good. Alright. <clears throat> there what it looks like. It's a pretty good racing game to play. If you're a fan of motorsports, then play this. Not a really big motorsports fan, but I like NASCAR is my favorite motorsports. Now here's Final Fantasy VI. Now what to say about this game? Well, I played it before and it's not really that great, but I do have it on the Game Boy Vans. I don't know where it is, so I better find it so I'll show it to you later. Yeah, I think that was pretty good. Probably not that great, but it's all right. Here's a but here's a great game to play. It's a, another racing game, Gran Turismo. Ninety-eight. Yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty good racing game. There it is, the disc. Yep. And I have. Rally Cross 2. It's a pretty good game to play if you're a fan of rally racing. Okay, it's Rally Cross 2. Next up, Crash Bandicoot River, another racing game produced by Nidoc and Universal Interactive Studios. Unfortunately, I have not played this game. This game does not work. There it is. Disc. This is the only. Well, I have Crash Twin Sandy on the PlayStation 2. Here I have NASCAR 2000. This game rocks, boy. I I could play this every day, and it's a non-stop game. <laughs> there, Dolby Surround on there too. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty great game to play. Alright. 
I have a sequel, Gran Turismo 2. I think we got this the same time we were getting our PlayStation 2, or the PlayStation 1, Christmas back in, I think it was the year 1999, I believe, or, I could be wrong, but, there's disc 1, disc 2, alright, great game play. <laughs> Here's the game, I, everyone's familiar with this one, Asteroids! Here it is. Yeah. 1999. I think that was the first time we saw the new ESRB rating. <laughs> Here I have Paul McCraw Rally from 2000, I believe. It looks like. Yeah, Paul McCraw, may he rest in peace. Here I have Tiger Woods Golf, another game for the EA Sports, from EA Sports. That's a pretty good game, I actually like it. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, most of the PlayStation games I have with friends are missing. Here's NASCAR 2001 for the PlayStation 1, I believe. I have NASCAR 2002, 06, 07, 08 on the PS2. I'll get to those when I show my PlayStation 2 game collection very soon. Alright. Here you have it with that. Here I have Lego Island 2, The Brickster's Revenge. I think I used to have the compute, the one from the PC, which... Oopsie daisy. There's the disc. Probably review this game sometime or Okay. It has revenge. Here I have Who Wants to Be a Millionaire Second Edition. It's from two thousand and I believe. It's Bruce by one of Vista Game Interactive. Two thousand the game but Wait a second! Wait a second! Hold on! Hold on! Who wants to be a millionaire for addition? What? Something's not right here. Can someone tell me what's wrong with this picture? You see, who wants to be a millionaire second edition? And I put in the first edition! Oh my god. Maybe because I have so many games I'm getting mixed up for, well. Yeah, some like my movies, but. I can't believe it! I got Who Wants to Be Beyond Their Foot edition instead of the second edition. Alright. Put this game off to the side. I'll have to see if I can get the second edition, the real one. Here I have Atari Anniversary Edition Remix. With Atari sticker on the back. Yeah. Play all the games, including Asteroids and whatnot. Two left. Here's SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. For the PlayStation 2. No, PlayStation 1, I'm sorry. I got this at Flea Market back in 2011, I believe. It works pretty good. Pretty good gameplay. Alright, last one for 2003. Hunter Run Dalmatians 2 Patches London Adventure. I have the first Hunter Run Dalmatians on VHS, which we already talked about in my Disney VHS tape collection. Basically, all right. First one, Nito and Drones, and we already talked about that. Hopefully, we'll talk about it again next year. I'll show it to you guys next year. All right, those are all my PlayStation games I have. I'm planning to get more soon. 
Including that Who Wants Me a Millionaire Second Edition, the real one, not the third one, because I have it. But you guys, I will be coming to my I, next video. I will do will be my PlayStation 2 game collection. I got a bunch of those. I'll talk to you guys about those in my next video. So hope you all stay tuned for that.